Thank you for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, every time you come on, I always, mm -hmm. uh, I just love talking to you. I wish I could talk to you for another hour. But oh, uh, last time we talked about aliens, I don't know if you remember this. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Do you have, is there any other uh, supernatural things that have happened to you since we've spoken? Not, um, well, I was really hoping, like, once I talked about aliens last time, I'd actually, like, see one. Like, they'd be like, way to go, you know, but they <laughs> didn't happen. Yeah, well, it takes um, time for them to probably get our to get broadcast the signal. To yeah. signal to fly Yeah, it. probably right, right. Uh, I did... I did have a very interesting paranormal experience with a pet psychic, if you want to hear about that. Yes! Okay, so... Oh, pet psychic? A pet psychic, yes. So I, I, have, I have some terrible news. My, um, my beloved cat, Ryan, recently passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, uh, before he was sick, like any uh, normal couple in Los Angeles, my, boyf my boyfriend and I uh, consulted a pet psychic, you know, <laughs> just to make sure he didn't have any unfinished cat business. Right? So this is before he, so he was sick. You just yeah, just to you make sure you didn't have any like final wishes, like you know before before he went on. You know, uh, you don't do that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, people do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, okay. Well, um, the yeah. holidays are coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. What do you give the gift? Right, it's a, it's a good gift. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, uh, so so we we called this woman and uh, she had no idea who I was, no idea uh, who I was, that, that anything about me. She kept calling me ma'am over the phone, which you know. <laughs> At this point, like, if you don't do that, it's weirder. Okay, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah. on? <laughs> but, uh, uh, so she starts asking questions, and, and she says, uh, does one of you sing? And I, it was kind of weird, because I was like, well, uh, yes, I, I sing. And she goes, do you sometimes, like, change the words of famous songs to be about your cat? Like, like something from The Sound of Music? And I, like, I got chills, because I, whenever Brian would wake us up to feed him, I'd always sing, the, hill, or the house is awake with the sounds of Brian, you know? Yeah. Wow. Um, and uh, so, like, and I'm also like, I'm getting really emotional because um, I used to sing on Glee, and I used to get all kinds of letters of from. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well I, well, I would, I would get letters all the time from people saying that my voice like helped them through like a hard time, like through chemo or like AP testing or or whatnot, and uh, you know, you know. Um, and uh, so I'm getting like, I'm getting emotional, thinking like my voice is like soothing my cat and is like his last hours. This is beautiful. Yeah, and the psychic says, yeah, he hates your voice. And she says, uh, she says, if you, if you want him to die in peace, he's asking you to shut up. <laughs> the pet I mean, psychic is saying this? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I got oh. read by a pet psychic. It, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, sorry, it wasn't Michael Bublé's cat. I mean, God. <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you. Uh, uh, pal, let's talk about the, 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 yeah. the new one here. This is. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, the Land of Stories. Congratulations on it. The Ultimate Book Hugger's Guide. Thanks. This is, uh, I, 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 every time you come on, I love the new, uh, new addition to this. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is an idea that you've had in your brain since you were a, a child, right? Yes, yeah. I started writing these books when I was, when I was six. It's crazy. I, I feel like it found me before I found it in a weird way. That's bizarre. But, yeah. I mean, but then you, I, you, you brought a drawing. Yeah. This is what you, mm -hmm. you drew this. I drew that when I was in second grade, yeah. The land of stories. So that's where, yeah, that's where it began. Land of stories. Yeah. Look, there's even a frog. Yeah. There's a little frog. Yeah, yeah. Just like there is a frog on the cover of this right, book. Right, right. And that frog, actually, I have, I have to show you. That frog was based on a magnet that was on my grandmother's refrigerator. So that's a magnet that I stole from my grandmother because, you know. Um, uh, so, yeah, no, that, that's one of, the, one of the things that inspired the, the book series. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So, the, so mm -hmm. the magnet was just, you would just see it on the fridge and be like, oh, that's a... Yeah, well, all the grandkids, we, we would make fun of each other. We'd always move him to, like, our, like, our, like, our other cousins' like, school portraits and stuff, so they always look like frogs. Um, and so, like, one day I looked up, and, like, he was, like, on my uncle's wedding picture, so I, I came up with a character for, for yeah, for Froggy. I think if I have a thing over here, a photo of me. I guess I can do this one here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. I'm done. Uh, yeah. Uh, but this is, uh, it's, it's such a cool thing, and uh, mm -hmm. the stories are great. It's fun, it moves, it's funny, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, you're developing a movie yeah, off of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, in, we're in early uh, development for the, for the first film, so, um, which, I'm, yeah, which I'm, I'm producing, writing, and directing, and it's, it's, it's really wonderful. I really, I really think the readers are going to truly love the movie, so I can't wait for it to, to pick up steam. What do you, what do you say to, to any, uh, any kids out there that are, that are watching uh, the show that like uh, him or her want to be an author or write stories. Do you have any advice for kids that come to your see oh, book gosh. signings? Or? Yeah, I mean it's, I think it's so so easy for 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 people, especially young people, to get so discouraged. And 
look around the world and think, God, how do I, how do I fit into this mess? Yeah. But I think it is so, so important that, that young people always remember that the more the world discourages you, the more it needs you, and that you know, the world is not going to change by having the same argument with the same people who are too stubborn to see past their own nose. The, the world's going to change by installing compassion and logic and reason into the next generation. So if, so if anyone out there has a talent that they think can help contribute to that fight, I think they, they owe it to themselves and, quite frankly, they owe it to the world to fight like hell until they get the chance to share it. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's a Mr. Rogers moment. That's fantastic. We love yeah. you. Chris Cole for everybody. The land of stories. The ultimate book hugger's guide is available now.